hope you're all well. I'm back from Florida now. I've been back for a week and it's time I start filming the haul videos, which is probably going to make me feel a bit guilty about all the money I spent. I did receive some nasty-ish comments on the infamous bitching site, which I won't name. I just want to disclaim everything you're going to see in the next few videos is things that I bought with my money that I earned from my job. So I think if someone earns their money, they can do whatever the hell they want with it. And obviously I wasn't boasting or bragging when I was tweeting or blogging about being on holiday. A lot of you said you wanted to see what I was up to and there's some comments saying that I was spending all my time uploading when I wasn't. I was just doing it when we had Wi-Fi, which was most of the time when we were queuing for rides. So it wasn't really a waste of time. But anyway, enough of that. I had the best time of my life. It was absolutely incredible. I It feels like it was just one really good dream. Even talking about it, I'm just like, I can't can't even comprehend that it actually happened because we'd waited for it for quite a while. It's been the only thing that I'd actually have to look forward to this year so it's quite a shame that it's over but I've got a money jar now and I'm going to start saving all of my change so that I can go again as soon as possible but yeah it was amazing. So the first haul that you're going to see is going to be a Disney haul so this is all the things I bought from shops in Disney and um, there's not actually that much I spent most of my money on makeup surprisingly and a couple of like quite expensive purchases for me but I thought I'd start with all the Disney stuff first thing I bought is my mini ears as soon as we got into Magic Kingdom on our first day me and Amber who was my best friend who come who came with us um, I said to her we have to get mini ears because when else can you walk around wearing this and not look like an idiot I mean I probably look like an idiot now but I love them and I re can't really walk down the high street wearing them so I thought why now make the use of it. They have all different types of these but I just wanted the original ones. We considered the sequin ones but a bit too much so I like these. Really soft and cute and oh, they had loads as well because it was Halloween when we were there so they had different types of them and they had some for girls, some for boys so it was great but I think these are an essential thing and they will be in my life forever and hopefully if I ever go back I can take them with me. And I'm going to keep them on while I film this as much as I look like an idiot. Don't care. So this is the bag. It's all crinkled because I brought it home in my suitcase that we got from Disney. Um, I have to keep the carrier bag because when am I ever going to get this carrier bag again? It's probably the same as the one in the Disney store for all I know. It's just got Cinderella's castle on it and it's huge. To be honest I didn't really buy that much stuff anyway so it's a bit of an excessive bag but I'll start with my main sort of Disney purchase. I only own one hoodie, which is my Levers one when I left sixth form a couple of years ago now, maybe three years, which is quite a scary thought. So um, I wanted to get a hoodie and I thought where better to get one than in Disney. I really like hoodies I wear to be quite big so they're more snuggly and when it's cold. And it's just a grey hoodie with a hood and then it just says Walt Disney World with the sort of, I didn't really notice this, but it's a little bit like Epcot in the logo. And then it says, established in 1971 because that was when Disney opened and I just really love it. It's really comfy. I wore it when we were coming home and my friend Anne bought a Universal Studios one and the man at the airport checking us in was like, I know where you've been and then I put my mini ears on and he, he looked at me like I was weird. But yeah, I bought this. This was $50 which when I was in America I spent most of the time thinking, oh that's so much money because I'm so used to obviously reading things in pounds but when when you think about it, fifty dollars is not really. It works out as under forty pounds. So, for a hoodie from a theme park, I don't think that's that that much money. If you went to somewhere like Orton Towers, I think this would be at least fifty pounds. But I love this, and I'm going to treasure it forever. And it's going to be my good hoodie. So, no dog walking. Just when I want to look nice. Well, not nice, but this is going to be my good hoodie for cosy days and keeping warm. And I've already got a lot of use out of it, so I'm glad I got this. After buying the mini ears in Magic Kingdom on our first day, I sort of said we've got to get autograph books. We are both 19, which we're kind of adults now I guess, and my brother was like, are you being serious, you can't you can't buy an autograph book, you're not a child, but you have to when you go to Disneyland, when else are you going to meet Rapunzel, like you, you're not going to see her walking down the high street, so I thought well I've got to get one. So this is actually the same one I bought when I went to California, but I lost that one when my mum moved house, so I didn't have it anymore. But um, it's just got everyone on it, really cute, and it's um, sort of squiddy as well, which is weird. But I had a great time filling this up. We didn't really get that many autographs, to be honest, because we spent most of our time going on the rides. But whenever you do spot someone walking around and you get in the queue, it's so much fun meeting them. And it was quite emotional at certain points, so we got, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, we got Pooh and Tigger, and Buzz Lightyear, which is a stamp, which was weird. Uh, Donald Duck, Goofy, 
Mary Poppins, uh, Pluto, Rafiki, who drew his little stick from The Lion King, which I thought was cute. Then Belle, who is my favourite princess, so that was quite emotional meeting Belle, not gonna lie. Rapunzel, who I also love, and Snow White, who, she wasn't very good to be honest. I was standing there like, I could do this better than you, which probably couldn't. And then lastly, it's nice to end with Mickey Mouse because we did that on our last day before we left. So this is just a really cute keepsake. If I ever go again, I can take it with me, even though I'd probably buy another one and try and fill it up. But yeah, it's great fun doing this. And then obviously to go with an autograph book, you've got to get a pen. This pen to go with the autograph book, we both bought the same pen, me and Amber. It's just a pink pen with all the different princesses all the way around. Aurora, Tiana, Ariel, Rapunzel, Cinderella, Snow White, Belle and Jasmine. I didn't actually see Jasmine in anything. Like she wasn't in any of the parades. Didn't she was in you could meet her and Aladdin at some point, but didn't see her at all. Like the rest of them, you see sort of quite obvious walking around and in the prize, but she wasn't there anyway. Um, it's got a little crown on top, and it's really cute. And to be honest, the autograph book, the mini ears, and the pen came to about $30, which I think is quite good value to be honest. So, yeah. I will be using this until it runs out and then I will find a way to refill it. I thought I'd show you my actual ticket to get into Disney as well. We had, we bought um, like a 7, I think it might have been 10 days actually ticket so that we could go in and out of Disney whenever we wanted which includes all the different parks that you have in Florida so there's Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. So, and this also includes all the water parks and all those places but we didn't do it. But it's just a little swipe card and I really wanted the Mickey one so my dad let me have it. And you just, when you go there, you just tap this on the thing and then you tap your finger on the thing, like the little scanner, I think it's called, and then it goes green and you can go in. So I'm going to keep this as well. I was going to keep it in my purse, but I'm more worried that I will, if I ever lost my purse, I would lose this. So this needs to go in a safe place. Another thing we did pick up, which isn't that interesting, is these gift cards on wristbands. When we, if you've been reading my blog post, you would have known sort of what we've been up to every day and I'm still uploading vlogs from every day. So if you click on my channel, you'll see the ones I've uploaded so far. But when we went to Epcot, they had a food and wine festival on and we've been recommended by a few people that we've met at other places and just to purchase these wristbands, which have a little swipe gift card on the end and you just wear it on your wrist like this. And it's not, it's not annoying. It looks like it is, but it's not. And that way, when we was at the food and wine festival, when you wanted to try something, for example, me and Amber tried a sushi dish, you just go up to the desk and they swipe it and it's done. So that way you don't have to faff around with getting a debit card out or playing with cash, which can be confusing for me if you still were like, what's a dime, what's a cent, blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, we should have really done this at the start of the holiday and just had them the whole way through because you can use them anywhere in Disney. So if you are going to Disney, it's definitely worth getting one of these because it just makes your life so much easier. My Florida vlog day three, you would have seen me a little bit hyperventilating when we were outside the world of Disney, which is a huge huge shop in downtown Disney which has literally everything there's like a di every room is a different section and I you could have given me a ridiculous amount of money to spend and it wouldn't have been enough it was that amazing I didn't really buy that much to be honest because I didn't want to spend all my money and then not have any left for the drugstores and Sephora and everything so I just picked up a few pens as well as the hoodie which was from there as well the first one is a Mickey Mouse pen it's got the sticker on it still so you can't really see it that well but it's just the Mickey Mouse shape and then it's black and then under the sticker it's got his like little red trousers and the yellow spots and I just think this is cute it's not heavy either so it won't be annoying to write with and then to go with Mickey couldn't not buy Minnie's pen because I love Minnie as well. This one's just red and white spots and it's got a little bow just there, like Minnie wears, in case you weren't aware. I think these were like $6 each but it was 3 for $12, so it's quite a good deal. I haven't bought one as well so we sort of combined the deal. My last Disney pen purchase is quite out there. Um, I'm half ashamed, half completely not ashamed, but as I said, Belle is my favourite princess. And these pens reminded me of when I was little and you know you used to have the huge pens and you used to whip them out in class and everyone would be like, oh, look at her pen. So I saw this and I bought it. Yeah, I'm that kind of person now. It was about $10 I think and it's just Belle and it's just overly fluffy and yeah, it's actually not heavy either so it's, it's not practical but I don't care. I really didn't care, I just wanted it. I could have bought them all, all the princesses but I'm loyal to Belle so she's my new best friend. The last thing I have to show you is from Hollywood Studios. If you'd have read my blog post about it you would know that we went to Pizza Planet which if you've seen Toy Story is the big sort of, right I think it is, the place where they go where the toys end up, I can't actually remember the story, but it's the place with all the arcade games and the 
toys and they go in the claw machine. If you go on my blog you'll see pictures of it inside and they had literally set it out like it was part of the film. They had arcade games and everything in there, it was really really cool. We did eat outside actually because it was so hot but we all had pizza apart from Amber who had, what did Amber have? No, Amber had a meatball sub, which I think she said was nice. The pizza was so good. And most places in Disney offer you souvenir cups when you buy drinks. Not get this one because of how much I love Toy Story, even though I couldn't remember the film. But um, Pizza Planet was just so good and I really wanted the cup. So me and Amber both got one and it's just the Pizza Planet cup with all the aliens on it. And I've been using it pretty much all the time since we've got back. And it's got one of those straws, like the bendy ones. I just love it. It's, it's like being a child again. I'm just happy to have this as a little souvenir of being in Hollywood Studios because I really liked that park and it's just a nice thing to keep. I could have bought every souvenir cup to be honest so I restricted myself to one. I just found one more thing to show you which isn't actually from Disney but it's from Universal so I thought this kind of counts still. Um, this is the bag which probably gives you an idea of what part of Universal I bought it in. Um, I have no need for this but me and Amber, we did the Ollivanders experience at Universal Studios. You queue up and we waited quite a while to be fair, but we did make a friend in the queue, which was nice. And then you go in and the man who's playing Ollivander literally does the whole speech from the first Harry Potter film when he's like, the one chooses the wizard and all that stuff. So when we came out, we both bought wands. Again, no use for this. It's probably gonna stay in the box under my bed or something, but I'm hoping that one day when my cousins are older, they will watch Harry Potter and they will appreciate this. So yeah, I bought a wand. This is the wand box. I didn't know who to pick. I wanted Cedric Diggory because he's played by Robert Pattinson, but I thought my cousins, if they do appreciate it, won't appreciate that because they won't like Robert Pattinson. So I ended up just going for the Harry Potter one, which comes in the box like this. It is quite a nice box to be fair. And I think this was about $30, which I think is a fair price because when I went to the Warner Brothers Studios tour, which is in England here, I think that was last year, um, the ones there were about £35. So it works out a good 10 to 15 pound cheaper to buy it there. So I bought one, oops. But it comes in a nice box and it's quite lightweight and I don't really know what to do with this now apart from just swing it around and, and now it can go back in the box because yeah that that's the most fun I'm gonna have with this for probably a very long time you know it's just a nice souvenir to have because um the Hogsmeade and Hogwarts and everything in the Harry Potter section of Universal was absolutely amazing the ride I don't like rides which I've mentioned I think a few times now but the ride there was really good, really good fun. It's a simulator, but you fly through the castle and with most simulators, well, does it count as a simulator if you fly through the castle? I'm not really sure because it simulates that you're flying through Quidditch, but obviously you're not flying, but it moves you through the castle. So I don't know, but we did it twice and it was such a good ride. So you have to do that if you ever go to Universal, even if you don't like Harry Potter, it is a really good ride. So I now have a wand to signify my love for Harry Potter and be in there so now it's going under the bed. That's all the things I bought in Disney which probably doesn't seem like a lot but I did try and save my money for other places which you're going to see in the next few videos. I spent a lot of money so yeah it's bad. I'm pretty much on a non-official spending ban now until the rest of my life but I hope you enjoyed seeing the few things I picked up and I hope you're enjoying my vlogs if you are watching them and the blog posts that I did and all that stuff and thank you for your support while I was there. As I said it wasn't nice when I was on holiday having people being horrible about me and all that stuff but yeah I think most of you seem to enjoy hearing me talk about Disney and if you did I'm really happy that you did so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.